zeros in the quotient. I can divide with zeros in the quotient. You already know how to divide a three-digit number by a one-digit number. Today, you will be learning how to divide a three-digit number by a one-digit number when there is a zero in the quotient. The cycling team raises money to buy a bike that costs $312. The team collects the same amount of money each week for three weeks to pay for the bike. How much money does the team collect each week? Well, looking at the story problem, I'm going to underline my question. How much money does the team collect each week? I have a keyword each, and it's in the question. When it's in the question, it's wanting me to divide. So my two numbers are 3 and 312. So I'm going to divide 312 divided by 3. Now remember today that we're working with zeros in the quotient. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to find my starting place, which is over the 3 in the hundreds place. 3 goes into 3 one time. I'm going to multiply. That gives me 3. I subtract, get 0, bring down. I have 1. Now 3 cannot go into 1. This is when, where the 0 comes in. Because 3 cannot go into 1, I can't just leave the tens place empty. I have to fill it in with something, and because it goes into it 0 times, I'm going to fill it in with a 0. Then I'm going to multiply. 3 times 0 is 0. Subtract. That gives me 1. Bring down. Now I have 12. 3 goes into 12 4 times. Multiplied. That gives me 12. If I subtract, that gives me 0 left over. My quotient is 104. If I want to be a good math student, I can check my work. And I do want to be a good math student. So I'm going to multiply the quotient times the divisor. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 times 3 is 3. My product is the same as my dividend. Let's try this one. If there are 505 seats in an auditorium divided equally into five sections, how many seats are in each section? The first thing that I'm going to do is underline that question, how many seats are in each section. I'm also going to look for keywords. I have each in the question, which normally tells me that I'm going to divide, and then I have divided equally, which are also two big words that tell me I'm going to divide. I'm going to box my numbers. So I'm going to look and I'm going to do a division problem with each in the question. 505 divided by 5. Let's try this one. We have 5 goes into 5. How many times? One time. I'm going to multiply. 5 times 1 is 5. I'm going to subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. Bring down this 0. I have 0. 5 goes into 0, 0 times, so I have to put in a 0 up in my quotient. I can't leave that spot blank. I must fill it in with a 0. Then I'm going to multiply. 5 times 0 is 0. Subtract. That gives me 0. Bring down my 5. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 times 1 is 5. Subtract. That is 0. I have 101 for my quotient. Now, if I want to be a good math student, what am I going to do? That's right. I'm going to multiply to check. 101 times 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 1 is 5, and my product, 505, equals my dividend of 505, so my quotient is correct. Alright, you try one. A book company publishes 749 copies of a novel and distributes them to seven bookstores. If each bookstore were to receive the same number of copies, how many copies would be sent to each store? Now remember the first thing that you're going to do is underline that question. How many copies would be sent to each store? I'm also going to look for keywords. Each in the question usually tells me that my operation is going to be division. 
going to box those numbers. 749 divided by 7. Try this out. Remember, you're looking for a 0 in the quotient and put your answer on Edmodo. Once you get your answer to Edmodo, uh, you also need to explain why you have a zero in the quotient.